There's a lot of controversy out there. What is the best choice, red meat versus plant-based meat? Recent research from two New Zealand universities has found that red meat is a better source of protein than processed plant-based alternatives. And it's interesting to find that when they were doing the human clinical trials, they found that the meat delivered more essential protein building blocks as compared to the plant-based alternatives. Most recently, a top allergist who has worked with thousands and thousands of patients has now indicated which foods are most and least reactive. And across all food groups, the least reactive food is meat. So the question is that we have to ask ourselves, are we actually getting and absorbing enough of those amino acids from the plant-based alternatives? It's also interesting to note that lamb is one of the most hypoallergenic meats. And this is probably because it's not exposed to wheat or dairy products in terms of its growth cycle and not being fed those foods. Now, organically raised beef and chicken can be hypoallergenic as well if they were not fed the wheat or the dairy products in their upbringing. Most cows these days and chickens, unfortunately, are fed wheat products and dairy products to help them to grow more quickly. And this, unfortunately, can trigger a lot of allergic reactions in the humans that are eating these conventionally raised cows and chickens. One of the things that we have to consider in terms of conventionally raised chickens and beef and dairy products is what these animals are being fed. And if they are grain fed, then there is this issue of glyphosate toxicity. Now glyphosate is a pesticide that's used in GMO farming. And often we could be ingesting glyphosate and this causes a lot of problems for our overall metabolism as humans. And that's why always going with grass fed is going to be better for you. So that's my tip when you are ingesting animal products, make sure it's always grass fed. Now for more tips, tips how to reduce glyphosate toxicity check out my video nine ways to reduce glyphosate toxicity in the body i'll see you there